And good morning to Pebbly Reef, where everyone should just be waking up in Two Points' very own paradise. Oh, no. I'm being told that the entire county has the same time zone. All right then. Good afternoon, Pebbly Reef. <laughs> ah.
Big hand for Fiona Fig Tree, who just called with the best subversive acts so far. Fiona sneaked into the mirror's office and blunted all her pencils. That should burn bureaucracy crashing down. Our work here is done, people.
Maintenance announcement. Plants need water. If you're feeling weighed down and clogged up with bad things, why not rinse yourself out by drinking swill? Our mixture of compressed plant matter will go straight through you, taking with it the poisons of everyday life and much, much more. <laughs> Thanks, swill. May cause unsolicited and incessant excretion. This is Two Point Radio. is Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. You have arrived at Two Point Radio's cultural oasis. I am Sir Nigel Bickleworth, here to nourish your mind and your soul for the next few hours with the finest sounds produced by man or beast.
Education is the foundation on which civilization is built. For example, notice how the three nouns I used in the previous sentence all have a similar sound. That is called a rhyme. Now off you go to look up what a noun is.
Today's Sir Nigel Reviews features my trip to the new exotic restaurant, Venusian Spice. Well, if this is what passes for haute cuisine beyond our green shores, I shan't be traveling any time soon. I mean, chilies? Garlic? Not for me, thank you. Maintenance announcement. Plants need water. Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. Shares of Jumbo are at an all-time high today after its chief executive announced record earnings for the past year, which is good news for me because I have three shares myself. Here is a little celebratory song.
I've always said electricity was a bad thing. To all those who scoffed at me, spare the thought for the poor souls in a hospital currently under siege from an electrical storm. Buy 115 cans of tuna and get one free. And if you sign up for our store card, you'll get our exclusive one-time use Crumley can opener. So come on down to Crumley Mega Market in Duckworth upon Bills. Serving Two Point County. This is Two Point Radio.
If you were ever to tell me that you could care less, I will take you at your word and believe that you currently care more about the subject at hand than someone who does not care at all. Please keep this grammatical faux pas in mind and we shall avoid any unfortunate misunderstandings. Stop. 
That's the kind of music that is apt to make spluttering Nora wake up in a violent fury. Perhaps this next tune can calm down our mercurial volcano. I know it soothes my nerves whenever I hear it. I have a letter here from Gabby Digger, who says, I have looked into your background, Mr. Bickleworth, and have discovered you are not a sir at all. Please stop referring to yourself as such. Well, Miss Digger, had you but excavated a little further, you would have seen that Sir is actually my first given name. Nigel is merely my middle name. So when I say I am Sir Nigel Bickleworth, I am being 100% accurate. Now try digging yourself out of that hole, Gabby. Ha!
The new number one album from Jasmine Odyssey, featuring the hit singles, Nice Smelling Face. You got a nice smelling face. And Fish Whispers. Ooh, fish Whispers. Well, that's all I can hear. Salivation. The new number one album from Jasmine Odyssey is out now. Like a fish. This is Two Point Radio. Is complete. Last dismissed. 
Point Radio. Harrison Wolf here with another large dosage of truth and nonsense on Two Point Radio. So stick around, you know, unless you have something better to do.
deposited in a bin is now hospital property. No rummaging. out there. It can get pretty lonely during those long dark hours. So we're going to cover what you can get up to at night in Two Point County. And if you've got any suggestions of your own, send them in. This tip for those who like to stay up might be a bit obvious, but it's still worth exploring. Late night TV. You gotta be adventurous. Click past the channels playing reruns and sports and find the really weird stuff. 
Toads playing chess. Make your own bomb shelter tutorials. It's all out there. Tips for all you night owls out there. Sweaty Palms is the two-point town that never sleeps. So why not take a walk around there with a notebook and some binoculars and have yourself a safari expedition. Just keep your distance from drunk students and other feral animals. Maintenance announcement. Bins will become full.
Burger are proud to introduce our new flying sauces. Made with a secret mixture of lighter than air, gravity defying spices. Try our new flying sauces. They're out of this world! Radio. Night Owl Paul Bagsy has called in with a nocturnal pastime he'd like to share. Keep a watch on your garden gnomes using night vision and camera traps. Paul is convinced one day he'll capture footage of them coming to life. If you want to join his course, have at it.
creature is a beautiful, powerful, scary thing. No one knows that better right now than people in the hospital just hit by a water tornado. I hope everyone's all right and enjoying coming face to face with the elements. Here, movie star Roderick Cushion has been visiting patients at a hospital. You ever seen one of his perilous spandex flicks? That's probably the reason these people ended up in hospital in the first place.
Another night owl listener has called with a tip for those who can't sleep. Alfred Crockery suggests you break into one of the county museums and switch the labels around on all the exhibits. Don't see the point myself, but each to his own. Here's another tip for all you night owls. Poke a hole in the bedsheet, get yourself to Blanding's Castle in Lower Flottering, and start howling and rattling chains. If nothing else, the tourists who brave a night trip out there will get a kick out of it.
If you're feeling ill, the last thing you want to do is pump your body full of cheap artificial medicine. So stay at a Holistics Hospital, where our natural remedies are so expensive, they just have to be good for you. Holistics, where you can only hope it sticks. Serving Two Point County. This is Two Point Radio. Ooh. I'm not one to encourage criminal behavior. Well, not too criminal. But any night owls near the meltdowns might want to try breaking into that government facility we're not supposed to know about. Do us all a favor and see if you can't find out what they're doing in there.
You're a night owl. Whatever you do, wherever you go, be sure to take a radio with you so you can listen to old Harrison Wolf. I'm always there to keep you company. Welcome radio listeners, this is your radio host, Ricky Hawthorne, bringing you a filmatic special as I take a look at Roderick Cushion and count down my top five favourite moments from his storied on-screen career. Thank you. 
We kick off our top five with number five and an unforgettably heartwarming moment from the Square Jaw and Bippy series. When the pair win the Minestrone cook-off in the climatic scene of Boiling Over. Don't forget the pepper. You'll remember that they use the prize money to buy Sally's house before it's repossessed by the lizard men. Textbook filmmaking. They said he was too old. They said he looked ridiculous. But when the world needs a hero, a hero must put on his spandex. This summer, Roderick Cushion returns as Perilous Spandex in Perilous Spandex 5, a stretch too far. This is Two Point Radio.
At number four, who could forget this emotional scene from Cecil Fulcrum, Swings and Roundabouts? I'm willing to go down if it means you'll go up. The film buffs amongst you may have noticed the symbolic relationship between the dialogue and the seesaw they sat on during the scene. Oh, very tricky indeed.
This is Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Welcome back for number three. What about this moment from Snowbody Knows, Snowbody Cares? We may not know how to lose, but we care about each other. And that's what counts. Of course, the pair are hospitalized for their efforts. But did you know that Roderick himself was hospitalized filming the sequence? Life imitating art. Oh, whatever you do, don't imitate this next song.
For number two, we've got an entry from the Perilous Spandex series. There are a lot of good ones to choose from, but I went with this moment from the original installment, when our hero first receives his costume. Well, I won't fit in that. It's tidy. Oh, how wrong he was. Cloud Linux. <laughs> 
dropped on our floor. We're just getting news of an electrical storm affecting one of our county's hospitals. That's going to play havoc with the equipment. Glad I'm not having an operation today. But if you are, just try to stay positive. If you're feeling weighed down and clogged up with bad things, why not rinse yourself out by drinking swill? Our mixture of compressed plant matter will go straight through you, taking with it the poisons of everyday life and much, much more. <laughs> Thanks, swill. May cause unsolicited and incessant excretion. This is Two Point Radio.
Just getting news of an electrical storm affecting one of our county's hospitals. That's going to play havoc with the equipment. Glad I'm not having an operation today. But if you are, just try to stay positive. Number one is the moment I'm sure you've all been waiting for. <laughs> when Roderick's character delivers the titular line in Get away from those children, those are my children. Let's hear how he did it. Get away from those children, those are my children! Oh, classic. Still quoted every day in Two Point County. To this day, you can be sure of that.
One of our hospitals is littered with frogs after the friendly amphibians rained down from the sky. Isn't nature a strange and wonderful thing? I wonder what the clouds look like. Hmm. Ponder on that while you listen to this. Training course completed.
before we end today's show, how about one more bonus moment? I must confess, I didn't recognize Mr. Christian under all that makeup when he played BF Yeti's famous Bindlewarf character. But there's a reason they call him the man of half a dozen faces, because he really does have a few different ways of looking that aren't even very close to one another. On Two Point Radio. Your patience, dear listener, has been rewarded. You have stood by your radio transmitter all morning, desperately hoping for a voice of reason to emerge from its electronic depths. Well, here I am, Sir Nigel Bickleworth, at your service on Two Point Radio.
Once again, I must congratulate Jumbo for being such a pleasure to interact with. After my Jumbo Espresso machine broke down for the fifth time this month, they have now replaced it with a new one. Well worth spending half one's salary on extended warranties, I'm sure you'll agree.
scan, please. I've always said electricity was a bad thing. To all those who scoffed at me, spared a thought for the poor souls in a hospital currently under siege from an electrical storm.